Telecaster Tuesday, please click the like and subscribe button, let me know what you think. And if you want to do a more in-depth lesson on any of this stuff sometime, please visit me at musicmakerlessons.com. Uh, can, you can download a free packet full of like scales and chord shapes, or um, you can also just set up a lesson, do whatever you need to do. Um, Alright, that said, it's Telecaster Tuesday, um, so I wanted to do, as I've been doing for the last couple of weeks, and... Uh, show you kind of like some of my practice routine tips for like maybe specializing this week in like playing over Misty. So first thing that you want to do is like learn how to play root, third, fifth, seven shape over like a chord progression, you know? So um, I'm just going to do one in C and what's cool is you can learn them in two places. So we were doing like E bass and A bass chords yesterday on McCarty Monday's video. Um, so today, you know, we'll kind of do root third, fifth, seventh over those chords. So I take these directly from a major scale. If you think of like Do, Re, Mi, if you can play C major, right? Just that far. It's really out of like, I have a shape that does two octaves. take the first octave. Just start with that if you're just starting out with this stuff. But what's cool about that shape, it's only three strings and you can transfer that. So like I can move that down here to the third fret. Same shape, everything's the same spacing, same distance apart. So I like to kind of use that. So going through these changes, if you use that shape, then analyze. Like so a major seven chord is root, third, fifth, seventh, just normal, right? Seven chord flats the seven, so root, third, fifth, seven, minor seven, goes one step further, flats the third as well, so root, flat third, flat five, flat seven. It's kind of the thing that I practice just going through as a simple exercise, you know, that might, like, maybe I'll warm up with this in the morning if I'm looking for something to do over this. So, that's it. E flat, major seven. I do that right where we started. So, like, if you remember this chord from yesterday, that's got three out of four notes on it already. So, root, third, then we just add this, the fifth, and then seven. So, it's six fret on the A string, then on the D string, 5th fret, 5th uh, fret, 8th fret, then 7th fret on the G. Sorry, 7th fret and then 8th fret. Why not do the octave? Right? Then we have B flat minor 7. So we have to flat the 3. There. Or you can do this. 
this shape. It's kind of like minor pentatonic. You skip uh, this note here, but. Fret six on the E string, then fret nine on the E string, then fret eight on the A, eight on A, then six and eight on the D string. Then E flat seven. E flat, yeah. Yep, E flat seven. So that just takes the same one from E. This note goes flat. So six on the A string. Then on the D string, 5, 8, just like before. Then back to fret 6 on the G string. Then A flat major 7. Same shape as we had on, uh, but like down a string and also down two frets. So now we have 4, 3, and 6 on the A string. And then 5 and 6 on the D string. So same shape again. from C, 8, 11, 10, so 8, 11 on the E string, 10 on the A string, then 8, 10 on the D string, then again, same shape, but start on F, so now just start one string lower, so 8, 11 on the A string, 10 on the D string, 8, 10 on the G string. dominant seven shape. So now we have a major third. So root on the sixth on the E string, then A string, five, eight, D string, six, eight. Then on the second ending, again, we're going back to E flat, but we'll go over the first ending really quick. We do G minor seven, C seven. Those are two new ones, but it's going to be the same thing. Same minor shape. Start on 10. So 10, 13, 12. So 10, 13 on the A string. 12 on the D string. 10, 12 on the G string. Then C7. So again, same dominant 7 shape, but start on C. 8 on the E string. 7, 10 on the A. 8, 10 on the D. Then we already had F minor 7 and B flat 7. So something I practice is trying to go through it and, and make everything last as long as it says. So like one measure of E flat major 7. Then two beats each. My, B flat minor. Flat seven. 
seven. changes if you can navigate your way through those changes and you know these shapes you can definitely get your whole way through this entire piece of music um, I recommend just like what I do is like turn down all of the tr uh, the bass on the amp turn up your treble and make sure that everything that you're playing is really clean <laughs> kind of noise in there there's no reverb or anything on the amp or anything today sometimes I play with some like reverb and a little bit of delay but um, today I'm not using anything like that because this is about kind of practicing the fundamental and making sure all of that is really clean really precise when that's all there crank those effects on yeah go for it um, but yeah this is more of just like a practice philosophy video today anyways I hope that helped happy Telecaster Tuesday I'm gonna go ahead and play my way out um, and yeah, let's all get misty this week. Mm -hmm.